Hey there guys, this is Reckles with Want to Buy Gold, and I hope y'all are ready to nerd out because we're about to talk about the lever locked chest. Now, on the surface, this seems like a pretty basic uh, puzzle. You just flip some switches around and you just play with it and oh look, you found the answer and you move on and you finish your Torghast run. But there's actually a way to, uh, the, the fastest way to test all these is to follow this pattern. So I'll just go into the pattern first for those of you who are in a Torghast run and in a hurry. Throw the lever one, two, three, four, one, two, three, two. And then you just reverse that pattern. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, three. And there you go. You uh, have officially tested every possible combination of levers in the fewest uh, fewest strokes possible. So uh, let's th for the rest of the video, uh, I want to talk about why that works. And we'll talk about a, a couple other ways of solving this in, in the meantime. So uh, what this is, uh, these are levers that can be off or on. In math terms, we would say it's zero and one. And so you can go through here and say this is this is a four digit code of zeros and ones. And if we say uh, zero 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 is the number is equivalent to the number one in binary, then that means one 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 is equivalent to sixteen. So Blizzard is asking us. Hey guys, I'm thinking of a number one to 16, what is it? So uh, the simplest way of going through and doing this is just asking Blizzard each number. So hey Blizzard, is it one? Is it two? Is it three? Is it four? Is it five? Is it six? Is it seven? And there we go, the number is seven. But uh, you can keep going, you know, is it eight? Uh, you can ask if it's nine, and going through all the way to 16 takes about 20, 30 seconds. Um, it's not too, it's not as fast as the uh, previous method, but uh, here's why. So going from, uh, if we actually, name out here I'll put a I'll put a list of all the different combinations all the numbers in order of 1 to 16 and uh, what what their code associated code is if we actually go through and list every time we throw a switch what number we're guessing uh, you'll see why it's inefficient so hey Blizz is it one is it two is it one? Is it three? Is it four? Is it three? Is it one? Is it five? Is it six? Is it five? Is it seven? Is it eight? Is it seven? Is it five? Is it one? Is it nine? So there you go. You can see like all these all all these switch flips are really awkward. And so what the the initial the one two three four one two three two pattern what that is it's called gray's code and it's essentially saying like hey going in order is inefficient you have to flip switches 26 times is there a way to count out every combination of of binary numbers one to 16 by only switching uh one one lever at a time. And so that's what it is. I'll, I'll put a link to Gray's code uh, down in the description so you can follow along with that. Um, and that's what it is. If if you want some extra credit, uh, go down into the, the comments and actually list out when we do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, two. When we actually go through this pattern, like list out what the numbers we're, we're actually uh, testing are, and uh, you'll see that it does in fact work and test every number. But there's something even cooler about this very basic puzzle. So if we look at the specific inefficiency uh, something, there's, there's a really interesting pattern that shows up. So, I'm going to just flip the switches in order, counting from 1 to 16. And I'll, I'll put a little, a little bar graph up here of, uh, how many flip switches it takes to get to each new number. So, uh, 
One to two. Three. That took two switches. Going to four took one. Going to five takes three. Going to six takes one. Going to seven takes two. Going to eight takes one. Going to nine takes four. Going to ten takes one. Going to eleven takes two. Going to 12 takes one. Going to 13 takes three. Going to 14 takes one. Going to 15 takes two. And going to 16 takes one. And you could probably guess what the next, if we had five levers here, what the next one would be. Like we would have to turn this one on and all these off. So it would be five. This pattern has a name. It's called the ruler function, and it does some really cool things. Uh, so it uh, has to do with the Towers of Hanoi problem, and the most efficient way to solve that. Uh, it has lots of fun, interesting implications in uh, just math and combinatorics and uh, a whole bunch of fun stuff there, but I... I uh, I think I would probably be overstepping my World of Warcraft bounds if I uh, talk for the next 20 minutes on the ruler function. So I'll just leave a link to that below too. And um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if uh, you liked it and like the video if you liked it. And I'll talk to y'all later. So bye. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> this is dumb.